Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Money Brown TV. Money Brown TV. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV and uh, Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, man? And this one here is on a two division world champion, the superstar boxer Jamal the Hitman Charlo, who is the current WBC middleweight world champion, blasting the Hall of Fame fighter, the legendary Oscar De La Hoya, for trying to, you know, mention his name now against the hottest Mexican fighter, Canelo Alvarez. As y'all see right here, Oscar De La Hoya going back and forth with Canelo. Canelo call him a fucking traitor. Tell him go fuck himself. After Oscar De La Hoya tried to say that he was avoiding twin Charlo, but he should have put the future of Charlo because he added the wrong Charlo, brother. He tried to add Maul, but this is what Jamal had to say about Oscar De La Hoya. Y'all listen to this, fam. Y'all know I'll be back with this great assessment. Hey, if anybody talked to Oscar De La Hoya before I do, to Oscar keep my name out of his mouth. They been they been ducking for so long. Now he get into it with Canelo. Man, they wanna say something. You know what I mean? Now you wanna hear from Oscar. You wanna say man when we was in Yeah, when we was when we was in 154, Oscar had a chance to fight me and my brother. Had a chance to sign. Now he wanna say something now, cause he had a, he going through protocol with Canelo. Now he wanna say something. Shut the fuck up. I'm at 160. Canelo come down to 160, I'll fight him. Other than that, this is why I campaign that. Fuck Oscar. Fuck Oscar De La Hoya and go to Boy Promotions. You had your, you had your shine, Oscar. Call him Oscar, because he's an actor, you know. He want that check. Canelo left his ass, so then he like, let me mention the Charlotte, you ducking the Charlotte. Shut the fuck up. You was ducking me. Crazy ass dude. Y'all didn't hear from me. Oscar De La Hoya. Is that his full name? That's like one first name. Oscar De La Hoya. You stupid ass bum. Let's make a celebrity match. And let's fight each other. How about that? I'll fight Oscar De La Hoya. I'll fight Oscar De La Hoya for, for my WBC. It's like me fighting the same goofy ass dude. They put it, put up against me, Montiel. Voila, boom. Now that's an alley hoop off the motherfucking backboard. Now y'all heard Jamal Charlo telling y'all, right, that Oscar De La Hoya was the reason for Canelo not fight him. He say you was ducking me. Y'all didn't hear her, and he, he getting on Oscar De La Hoya ass for trying to use him as an escape goat. You understand what I'm saying? Now y'all gonna believe what y'all wouldn't believe, but I'm gonna read in between the lines. Y'all heard that man say. You, you 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 ain't heard from me, right? Now, Oscar trying to come out and, and, oh, let me go use Cholo and tag the wrong fucking Cholo, you know, to get off what I need to get off and make people, you know, look at Canelo like a sucker and that he was ducking, um, that he was ducking the twins. No, 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 motherfucker. The twins is on your ass letting it be known. You the reason the fight didn't happen. You had the opportunity to sign us to Golden Boy. You the one let us go to Al Heyman. You feel me? So when everybody keeps talking about, oh, well, you know, Richard Schaefer took all the fighters to go, oh, hey, man, he did this. He let some of them fighters go. He didn't want to sound him his goddamn self. You feel me? And Canelo stayed loyal to his dusty ass. That's why Canelo called his ass a traitor. Period. Called his ass a traitor. Now, if y'all think Canelo is afraid to fight any goddamn body, if you think Canelo is afraid to fight any goddamn body, then you crazy out your mind, man. You crazy out your mind. I don't think Canelo is afraid to fight nobody, man. He fought the fucking GOAT. He fought the GOAT. Floyd Money Mayweather at 23 years of age. If that don't say a lot, I don't know how much more to tell y'all boys. Now, yes, I do want to see Canelo face Andrade. Yes, I do want to see Canelo face Jamal Cholo. Yes, I do want to see Canelo face David Benavidez. But David Benavidez fucked up by losing his WBC title. Mar Cholo just told you I'm 160 pound. If Canelo come down to 160, I'll fight him. But I'm not going up to 168. Demetrius Andrade just running around like a goddamn fool listening to Benoit Hawkins. But I can't say that about it. Let me, let me stop. Because I do like Demetrius Andrade. Okay, I was about to go too far. But now he's acting like a goddamn fool listening to Benoit Hawkins talking about being a serious stalker. I will say that. But I don't knock him for trying to get the fight with Jamal Charlo and Canelo Alvarez, even if y'all don't like the man. 
Even if y'all don't like them, you got to commend them for his effort to try to get the fights with these dudes. And he want to smoke with everybody. So somebody like Demetrius Andrade, even if you want to say he ain't fought nobody, which I, I respect his resume, even if you want to say Canelo will beat his ass and knock him out, which I think Canelo will beat him, but I think Andrade give him problems. Even if you want to say he's a Bia Bia, you know what I'm saying? He's still trying to get that work. He's still trying to get that work. He pushed up on Canelo in this press conference, post-conference. He pushed up on Jamal Chello in his post-conference. And he said he's going to push up on Jamal again at his post-conference. Now, I'm not pissed off at that. I'm not mad at a man for trying to go get him a fight. But don't listen to no Bernoy Hopkins to be no sucker talking about being a serial stalker, showing up to this man's gym and to somebody else's workplace and to this place and to that place, bothering this man's amount of goddamn fight because it's going to look like you begging like a little bitch. That's why I respect Earl so much because Earl said, I'm not going to beg for no damn fight now. I ain't begging nobody for nothing. I'm going to make my own lane. Video coming soon on Earl Spence, what he said. But nonetheless, man, Oscar De La Hoya, you heard Jamal Cholo. Let's get a celebrity match. You say you fit to fight somebody, right? You say you want to fight somebody that's going to be a tough match where we go say, man, he's going to get his ass kicked. Well, go ahead and fight Jamal Cholo for the WBC middleweight world title. I'm quite sure they'll jump you up in the rankings. You know what I mean? I think you and Mauricio Sudamon got a nice relationship. I think he'll put you at number one right now as we speak. Oscar De La Hoya is the number one, number one mandatory for Jamal Cholo. At the middleweight. Motherfucker be like, what the fuck did Oscar do to become number one? He's Oscar De La Hoya, motherfucker. That's what he did. So you go fight Jamal Cholo. Because he said, you been ducking him. Not Canelo. You been ducking him. You had a chance to sign both twins, but you didn't do it. Why, Oscar? Why? Why? And as y'all see, Canelo put a subliminal in there. Well, y'all seen Canelo put that shit up there and told him he's a traitor and then told him to go fuck himself? Y'all didn't see the utensils. Oh, my God. Y'all didn't see the utensils. Look at this, family. Look at this, y'all. Tell me Canelo is not a savage. Look, fucking traitor. And say, Oscar, do me a favor and go fuck yourself. Look at the utensils. Look at the, look at the egg. Look at the utensils. Look at the utensils. Everybody know Oscar used utensils when he doing that, that that crazy word shit that he be doing. Canelo is a savage. Stop playing with Canelo, dog. Stop playing with Canelo. You feel me? Stop playing with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Like Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins is trying to sabotage this man. They trying to sabotage him, but that shit is backfiring. Like Kwame Brown doing Stephen A. Smith. Like he doing Becky with the good hurt. You understand me? Canelo is shooting back too. Now, Jamal Cholo, you know, he's standing on Oscar's neck. Standing on his fucking neck. Let him know. Quit all the bullshit. Don't try to use me for your dirty work. Don't try to use me for your dirty work, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You and Canelo's situation is you and Canelo's situation. Leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. You feel me? What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Y'all been doing the Canelo dirty for so long, now that shit is turning on y'all boys. You feel me? It's turning on y'all boys. And then Jamal called you out, Oscar. He called you out. He called you out. Let's see if you step up to the plate. You need an opponent, right? You need an opponent. GSP look like it's a no-go. It look like it's a no-go. But let me stop playing, man. We know Oscar and fucking and, and Jamal are like better get into the ring. But listen... Y'all need to pay attention to the signs and symbols, family. Pay attention to the signs and symbols. Y'all see that Jamal Charlo is telling the truth. A lot of people go dismiss this shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about people dismissing. I don't care. He's coming out. He threw the alley hoop out there letting us know. Letting us know that Oscar De La Hoya was the reason the Canelo fight didn't happen at 154. Oscar De La Hoya is the reason the fight didn't happen at 160. Even though I know Canelo has power and has weight, right? But Oscar is the reason, bro. He the one wanted to try to drain Canelo for every dime, every dollar. He the one was nervous of, of fucking Jamal Charlo, not Canelo. Canelo ain't afraid to fight nobody, bro. And I'm going to stand on my words. I'm going to stand on my words. And I will go at it with anybody who want to go at it with Monty B about Canelo fighting Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andrade. You feel me? Yes, I want the fights. Yes, he was one fight away from undisputed with Demetrius Andrade. Why didn't he fight him? I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you this, he wasn't fucking afraid to fight him. He wasn't afraid to fight him. People use that word too loosely. Oh, he's afraid to fight. He's not afraid to fight no damn body. No fighter is afraid to fight no fighter, bro. No fighter is afraid to fight no fighter. You know what I'm saying? 
So when I look at the situation, dog, Jamal Cholo is letting Oscar De La Hoya know, get your punk ass on. Go find somebody else to try to use to do your dirty work. Don't try to use me, you sucker. You feel me? Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like he telling him, I don't give a damn. It is what it is. I'm Big Maul Cholo over her. We getting paid money over her. I'm not starving over her. You know what I'm saying? I know the Cholos up under a lot of heat with, 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 with the families. You know what I'm saying? They up under a lot of heat. Jamel Cholo coming out saying what he's saying on Wilder shit. And then Jamal Cholo, you know, he coming out. We don't know what the hell going on with Jamal Cholo. One minute he want to fight this fighter, next minute he want to fight that fighter. But it is what it is. He got to fight in front of him. He got to take out Montiel. He is at 160 pounds. And I'm going to give him credit for being a WBC, real WBC world champion. And like I say, him and Demetrius Andrade need to fight each other at 160 because that's where they at. Canelo is at 168. His problem is Caitlin Plant at the moment or, uh, or David Benavidez, who's at 168. You feel me? Like you said, if Canelo come to 160, I'll fight him. He want Benavidez to come to 160, he'll fight him. But soon, he's going to have to go up. Yes, he's the one that said, I will drop my titles and go up to 168 because the fans want to see that fight. Remember, not Timber. Remember, you know, this shit don't go over my head, man. I do this boxing shit, fam, and I'm going to keep it real all the way around the board. All the way around the board. If we're going to criticize Canelo, we must criticize everyone else as well. Just to keep it true, just to keep it fur. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play fur, dog. You feel me? But at the end of the day, bro, I still think Jamal Charlo is the biggest threat to Canelo. I still think Earl Spence is the biggest threat to Canelo because of their styles and the way they fight. Because of their styles and the way they fight. Is Canelo afraid to fight anybody? Fuck no. Is Jamal Charlo afraid to fight anybody? Fuck no. Is Jamel Charlo afraid to fight anybody? Fuck no. Is Earl Spence afraid to fight anybody? Nope. Is Terrence Boyd Crawford afraid to fight anybody? Nope. Is David Benavidez afraid to fight anybody? Nope. Come on, bro. Let's stop. Let's stop. It's chess, not checkers. You have a team. They advise you. Sometimes you got to go with what your team says. But with Oscar De La Hoya, but with Oscar De La Hoya, Jamal Cholo is putting his ass on blast and letting the world know. He's a sucker. You can't trust him. Don't listen to this shit he's trying to say about Canelo. Now that he's in Canelo, I mean, now that him and Canelo's into it, he's trying to use every resource that he got to make Canelo look like a fool, a fraud, a duck. Well, he's all the above. Well, he's all the above. You feel me? Now, people going to come out, oh, man, Jamal Cholo ain't say this. He ain't say that. To Monty Brown, that's my assessment. That's what I took from it. You don't like it, get the fuck on and go find somebody else who you do like. Because that's how I'm getting down. You don't like it, don't fuck with Monty Brown. You feel me? It is what it is. Now, we'll see if Oscar go answer back. We'll see what Jamal go say. Because, you know, once Jamal start, he don't stop. We know Canelo is on a bigger picture to become undisputed. Right? And boxing is in a good space. With the drama, with the big fights, with the YouTube fights, everything, it plays a part. And it's keeping boxing alive and boxing is thriving. And Monty Brown appreciate every bit of it. I appreciate every bit of it. You feel me? And we'll just see how the future play out. Shouts out to Canelo. Good luck in September. Shouts out to Jamal. Good luck in July. Is it July? No, June 19th. I'm sorry, on June 10th. You, good luck to you on Montiel, which you know we go, you go smoke that boy. But shouts out to Montiel for stepping up to the plate. And Oscar De La Hoya, you stop being a suck-ass, suck-ass clown and do your job and be a good promoter and treat these fighters right. Because pretty soon, you ain't going to have a leg to stand on, sir. Golden Boy will be yink, 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 crinking and crinking and crinking about to fall the fuck over. Because Canelo finna get on your ass, homie. Oh, yeah. He about to get on your ass. And he ain't gonna let up. So we'll just see how the future play out. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Monty on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know how your boy get down. Big dog status, family.